Hello and welcome to how to find the logarithm of a number less than 1. Right in this tutorial we are going to look at how to find the logarithm of a number less than 1 using logarithm table. Um, the procedures are, are the same because you will have to use your table. But first of all you will have also to arrange the given number in standard form which we also did in uh, when we were looking the logarithm of a number greater than one uh, the different thing here is that uh, when we have a number uh, raised into into negative exponent like this i'm going to write it here if you are having a number raised into negative exponent uh, say you have uh, uh, 0 0.0007 uh, well, let us take two the same two if we have two here uh, we have two excuse me two here then this is the same as two times 10 power negative 1, 2, 3, 4, power negative 4, all right? So when we express in logarithm negative exponent, negative exponents are, are, are represented by bars. So we represent them as bar. Now a bar in this case is a number with a line on top. So this will be bar four. Uh, so this one here will be written as bar four. So bar represent a negative exponent. Bar represent a negative exponent. So that is very important to understand as we move on. All right. Yeah, now let us look at, uh, let us look at, at how to read, to read, um, from the table, the logarithm of 0 0.02. So, as usual, we have to write the given number in standard form. So, the number 0 0.02 will be equal to 2.0 times 10 power negative 2, as you see there. And then have to apply law of product. Why? Because it is 2.0 here. It is 2.0 times times 10 power negative 2. And then uh, this will be written as this logarithm of 0 0.02 is the same as logarithm of bracket now because it's a, the, the, a single number. 2 times 10 power negative 2. Now apply that law there. If you apply the law here now, we have this is the same as logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 10 power negative 2. Okay. And now as I said before, if we have negative exponent, we represent it as bar because logarithm of 10 uh, logarithm of 10 power negative 2 if you apply law of power you are dropping this what we are going to do is to drop this negative 2 here uh, let me represent it yes you are going to drop the negative 2 here down here and apply that logarithm based uh, logarithm based 10 10 equals to 1 so you get bar 2 so this is going to be bar 2 the way you see it there and then right from there uh, we will have this is equal to bar 2 plus 3 i mean bar 2.3010 because logarithm of 2 is 0 0.3010 from your table you know now how to read from your tables and then finally this is what we have this is what we have okay so this is our answer 
of, of reading the logarithm of this number from the table. So this is our this is our table. So it's, it's easy. It, it is the same. We use the same procedure. The different thing is that um, we use we use bar in negative numbers. We use bar in negative numbers. Right. Thank you for watching. And now I would like you to do this. Apply the same. Apply the same. Write this number into standard form and then uh, read its logarithm from log table. Have a good day.